I'm Nick Gregorio, welcome to the Barn Stars. Today we're talking the Cape Crusader and gaming, but first, we're sipping on that Ace Chemicals cocktail. Check the description below for the recipe and drink along with us. Okay guys, I wanna know. Mm. Mm. Oh, are we doing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're drinking the wrong Is one. Is the Arkham series the best we're gonna get, or are there better Batman games yet to be made? Flip, I'm gonna start with you. Uh, we live in the past. In the future, there will be better Batman games. <laughs> That's the best argument right, I've ever heard. <laughs> what about you, Chloe? I agree. <laughs> Yes, there will be better bat gam bat Batman games Do you made. Bat games. Bat -gam. Um, no, there will be better Batman games made for sure. I mean, like we've got the Arkham series. Different format, thanks. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, I don't, yeah. I'm still learning. I've, I've only been here. Or One two shot, days. and she's just like. So anyway, I lost my phone. Here's the story. I do think we're gonna see them because I feel like the Arkham series has been uh, incrementally upgrading, and I feel like it it should be. We're gonna see leaps and bounds. If we don't get caught up in what the Arkham series was, I do think we will see progress in the Batman game. But, but do we all do we like well, the Arkham series? I, I, I still play it. I mean, I, I, like I, I think it's really good. Play. I still don't think it's like the de facto Batman gaming experience. It's, it's the, not. It was the first one where you you were an action hero and a detective, and you 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 were stealthy at the same time. You got to be super bat detective ninja man. And yeah. that's what a lot of people And it was wanted. the first time, it wasn't just like a good game for a superhero property, it was a good game. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm pretty sure Arkham City won game of the year on a lot of different people's yeah. Yeah. lists of games of the year. Yeah. Players. I feel, I mean, he, this is this is where I come from as, as old man. As old <laughs> Batman games, like on the, the first one on the Nintendo was, was good, and then it kind of, starts to go off the rails a little bit when every single one was a roll of the dice. It was like, who's making a claim, Activision, like who are these people? And a lot of them were garbage on the PS1. There wasn't that much on the PS2. But the it, arcade ones were dope. That was like 400 hit combos and like, <laughs> like, like, like it was it was fucking Wait, what Batman bonkers. Like there were a there were a Batman couple. Forever. There, there was there was Batman oh. Forever. There was the one the Michael Keaton one yeah. was as well where you uh, start Returns off in the no I think it was the first one 89. because you start off in the in the chemical factory. And that's like oh. the first stage. You, oh, you mean the ones that were like on the NES and stuff like that? Yeah, but they weren't. Those don't, those don't count. You mean the, the arcade okay. ones? But, but that, yeah, that's the whole thing. Is they they weren't. You didn't really feel like Batman. You felt like a little eight bit sprite, yeah. or you were driving the car. Yeah. I feel like the Arkham series is the first time that you feel fucking badass. You mm. feel Batman ish. So, and, Chloe, you weren't the biggest fan. I had to cut you off. But you weren't the biggest fan of the Arkham series. No. What I were mean, some no, of your gripes not, with it? Was, it? It was a taste thing. Like for me, it, I mean, it's, the game is focused so much on combat. You're supposed to play it, not eat it. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking that. I was thinking that. That's what you sound like. I've done that like on three <laughs> space bars now where my only retort is making fart noises at you and saying that's what you sound like. And that defines but, our relationship. So, pretty much. So, I mean, it was so focused on combat and if you jump in to the series not at the beginning of the Arkham series, it's so impossible to pick up any of the combat. And, I mean, there's just so much you have to be good at. I, I, I don't know. But you it, have to train to be it's not. It's yeah, not a bad game. You can't just wake up and be Batman one day. Wake up and be Batman one day. One of my biggest gripes with the with the Arkham series was that there were no denizens of Gotham. You know what I mean? Everyone cleared out in yeah. every game. Yeah, and that's it was, yeah, it was, yeah. Well, for sure. It, it was, was only one aspect of the Dark Knight. It was just being Batman and beating people up. But like, I didn't really like too much of the detective stuff. I think Arkham Origins. Mm. Was the best kind of detective mode stuff. I thought the the little puzzles they once they upgraded it. Yeah, Arkham Knight got a little bit too elaborate. Like he was tracking bullets across the whole city. See, but that, he's Batman, so he can do that though. So I don't, not my Batman. <laughs> not, not my Batman. I mean, the tank the, the warfare Batmobile stuff, as fun as it was at times, I don't think like. Oh no, that was trash. It was trash. It was that, no one needs to do with Batman. Do yeah. You don't need oh. that. In a that Batman felt like game. a tech demo that they shoehorned in. They're like, we gotta make them fucking mm. big and fun. Like in Arkham City, when the first time you get to soar and you're going building to building and shit, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. feels like Batman. That's Never hit the freaking ground. awesome. That, was that cool in this moment thing. was great. And it's just, and that's something that I think it naturally fits in this thing. Like, yeah, but you can't just drive the Batmobile around like GTA Five. Like, we gotta make it Batmanish. And it was like, you don't. Did you see the movies? Did you just see mm. Batman versus Robin? Like, we're, I don't know where that tank. Yeah. Came. So that. that that, that brings Robin. me to my next uh, question. What would be your dream Batman game? My dream Batman game ha would have a lot to do with, I think it would probably be four player co-op 
on your own system, since split screen is dead. What's up? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and you oh, oh, split right. screen. Uh, um, and it's a it's a it's stealth adventure. Like you can choose, you can make a choice. You can be like, I'm gonna be the stealthy guy. And this is, I'm a way for you to cause a distraction and we're gonna follow up together. It's a it's a team based so game. So you wanna play you, a, you want a bat family? I want a bat video family. Game. I want okay. a bat family because family. they all I mean I do. I like they, they all matter, they all have their different skill sets. And though Batman is, you know, the king of the night, he has a support group that is very skilled and very talented and very unique in the way they express themselves and can express themselves in this grand world of Gotham. Oh, what about you, Chloe? This is dumb. I, look, here, I'm t- here's the thing. I like Batman, but I don't know a lot of Batman stories. But for me personally, what I would want to play, because I like RPGs, is like a really dark, gritty Batman RPG. And maybe you don't play as Batman, but you become his sidekick. And you're able to train okay. with the Batman. That's you know pretty cool. That's that is cool. Like, right? Final Batman. That's fun, like an open world, right? Oh, uh, open world. Well, okay. <laughs> is, it, is it a JRPG? Is it like <laughs> a JRPG? Is it, is I it like, a pigeon I just like love open simulator? World. I just don't like people telling me what to do, so I like open world. I yeah, I just want to make sure you're not saying it's a Batman slash pigeon love simulator. There's no pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I made you play, play it once, and it was great, and you were being grumpy. It was great. Hot of a boy. Bill, what do you say there? You know, I want to I want to play a game where I'm not always where 98% of the combat isn't me with a bunch of henchmen. Like, yeah. I wanna, it is all dudes. It's it 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 just all and it's just dudes. like and I get and that's it is kind of fun again the combat it's it feels like that God of War like you you're bounds between guys and you have combos mm. it's really cool but like why not get it where he just doesn't go out and lay waste to a bunch of dudes who are wearing like scully caps and <laughs> fucking like who are t- so verbose like careful the bats I, I know I understand it's adapted from a comic but like just give no, me the give no, me the yeah, but no. still, well, it's the really ham handed some give of me the thing is you kill Sorry, I totally interrupted. No, it's fine. Just give no, me, give me to. more villains. Give me, give me more higher ranked guys. Give me more B minuses than F plus fighters, and then, and that would make it feel more even because it's, it's sort of like you know, I could, I'm sure I could beat up a bunch of four year old children, but you know, that doesn't necessarily make a fun game. Actually, that sounds like fun though. Yeah. Okay. Well, you and Batman does not kill people, right? <laughs> no, Batman I mean, it is. you obviously are Let's killing not, we're not everyone. Not. No, kill but hold on. Me, no. It's hold on. <laughs> If you accidentally kill somebody, it become you know what I mean. You, like you actually have ba- to. But Batman doesn't accidentally kill someone. But he's too good. He and does. I have a very people, stronger no. drink. Listen, so to listen to there him. is this thing called cognitive dissonance, <laughs> and he kills people. He fucking straight. But he chooses to not know, <laughs> and it helps him get through the situation no, much okay. easier. My Batman doesn't kill anyone. All right, this is my dream Batman. Are you my Batman? This is the only Hashtag. way the Batman Martha. should ever be. My Batman Martha. doesn't kill Martha. anybody. <laughs> I know I died in an alleyway somewhere, but my, my Batman, Batman is a good boy. <laughs> He's going to be a corporate king. You'll see. He's going to fix the city. Can I tell you what my dream Batman is? <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. I'm sorry. Um, it would be somewhere between GTA and Arkham City. Batman Year Two. All right, think about it. You play just as much Bruce Wayne as you play Batman. It's not as much as a linear story. My Batcave might not look like your Batcave. Maybe I want to upgrade my Batwing. Maybe I want to soup up the Batmobile, or maybe I don't. Maybe I want to focus on my glider cape and my grapnel gun. I don't know. So it's, you it's, pitched okay. me this yeah. customizable Batcave three times today. <laughs> it's a good game. That's I want it really. I, it's it's fair. Like, I want to. I want to. I want to play a, like a, a level where you're at the charity ball. And goons come in, and you gotta like s- sneak, sneak out, sneak out, and then awkwardly drop. change in the closet. Uh, and maybe you know, maybe <laughs> yeah. there's. And Nick, you're you're saying I want to play. Come on, just kill me. No, no, no. You, you're saying I want to play Hitman because that's what no, you're describing. No, that's literally you're going what I'm down the Hitman. My head is Hitman. I'm just saying one mission. One mission. You have the gala. How many galas does Batman Kyle? go to? If you look at the if you look at the Bruce Every Wayne, movie he's in a exactly, gala. That's what I'm saying. That's, that's, one gala the, that's where Hitman is. You got a barcode on your neck and you're a fucking fake waiter and you're trying to poison somebody and doing the Hitman. Hitman movies and Hitman movies. Just go play the Hitman. If you think of all the all the Batman scenes from from Batman v Superman and how fucking boring they would be as a at a gala. It's like, what do you do? You listen to the same oh, sound bites as you walk around, and do, I, I think it's. It Maybe you have a listening theory. device and you're trying to get close to, I don't know, like Lex Luthor, and he's at a party, and you're like very close to him, but they're, oh my God, 
villains break it, in, and then the, you gotta sneak I out. I feel like the way to do that, you would have to, because Mass Effect applied that pretty well. Yep, I like agree. They applied, I was so I feel like there's like something Dragon along Age. the lines of that Mass Effect Dragon Age as well. Like, that makes sense. I would like it to add work. to the Mass Effect thing. Also, I would like to have sex with Batman, if that is possible. I don't want game. that. Does that have anything that to do with the game, or just? No, I mean, Generally, you would just anyway, like to. Anyway, really. Oh, okay, cool. That doesn't fit into the game. One of <laughs> <laughs> if it's a gritty <laughs> RPG, you can fuck everyone in that game. But I did. <laughs> Equip pigeon and then fuck Batman. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the Yaoi mod. <laughs> but I, I do think I think if you if you took out a, a page out of GTA's book, you could do some really neat stuff with you Batman. Could. Um, and, and you I, can constantly update it. You can have sex in GTA. GTA. Yeah, exactly. So in a car. Yeah. And then and, feel dirty um, afterwards. <laughs> Okay, everyone calm down. <laughs> We're all Hot old bottom. people <laughs> that still can't handle a sex joke. Um. <laughs> What do we think of the Telltale game coming out? Because now we're, we're dealing with Bruce Wayne and Batman and more of the Telltale style, which doesn't focus on action I, much. I think, if, I think the Telltale game, the thing that Telltale games do really well is they draw and, and establish the world. And as much as we all already know about Bruce Wayne. Do you know his parents got gunned down and now? Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. What we, you, Joe is that why they keep showing <laughs> allegedly? Alleged. They keep telling us that's what happened and they're showing us recollections, but none of us were there. So we don't know what really yeah. happened. You know, he could have killed his parents and wanted that much. All right, so we know the story. <laughs> what were you getting at there? Well, I want to learn more about you know the family, like the Bat family. You uh, let's 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 cover Dick. Let's cover Tim and how Tim found out who who Bruce Wayne was. Let's let's find out why. That would be know, really fun. Bat, in the game. Like yeah. and we know Bruce, but they always cover him too much. He's not that interesting. Well, I, I mean, well, when you hear the same song so many times, doesn't matter how good it once was, it's like, I, 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 I know. So let's I know. find out who Bat Dad yeah. is, right? Let's find out like how he was affected when Barbara was put in a wheelchair. Let's yeah. like, if we're gonna cover like the depth of it. I like that, I like exploring in the Bat Family, yeah. and, and Telltale has that platform to mm -hmm. do it. I still think we're probably gonna get like a Batman year one <laughs> again. <laughs> like, I don't know how many times we gotta figure out how this guy Became builds a bat, bat suit. Fell into a well. <laughs> <laughs> Fell into a well with pets. Uh, what do you think, Chloe? Do you like the Telltale games? Is that something you're into? I like Telltale games. I mean, I wish they kind of did their own thing for the first time in forever. But I you mean, want to original? I, yeah, I do want an original. I mean, it's cool that they're not, you know, retelling a story that's been told before. That made me more excited because I don't like. There's some guy at Telltale like, yeah, we want to make money, Chloe. How about that? Well, yeah, but here's the thing: I don't <laughs> well, want to watch play another representation of the fucking killing joke or whatever. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I, I'm excited that there's a, they're doing something new. There are a lot it's of cool. new stories too. Let's, let's let's see the battle for the cow. Let's see the battle for the cowl, and you, so then you could cover the Bat family and their different personalities. Also, depending on which version of Batman it is, you could travel through time as Batman. That's not too bad. I mean, you could also, Bars. you could just take Bars. a story arc, <laughs> like to get really nerdy here, you could take any story arc throughout the history of the, of the Batman and make that a game, and it would Ooh. work and be fleshed out. Like, you could do Nightfall, you can do a really cool Nightfall yeah. story, story arc that makes sense. Or if you had a GTA style open world game, you can make those DLCs. And, and here's, that's and what this they need. is the problem I think I, I have with the, the Telltale game is you're going from the most visceral, badass, beat em up, car driving, tank exploding to a <laughs> quick time event. Analog swirling, <laughs> button tap it. Like it's not, it's walking around a room for like 40 yeah. minutes trying to find a clue. Like, oh, this thing. The thing cool. about that is it broadens the audience. That's the interesting thing about that. It's interactive cinematography, mm -hmm. right? And at the same time, soap operas have evolved. It's it, like, it's it's the new soap opera. It's I'm, interactive. I haven't, now, I haven't like, played any of the Telltale game. I'm getting more and more excited for it. Um, and they're pushing it hard. I mean, they advertised it during Monday Night Football. That's yeah. a pretty big deal for a Telltale game. Like, I get that for like Call of Duty wait. or something. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna Netflix it. I'm gonna wait till it's all out. Yeah, I kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To me, because the chapters are short. If you're on a roll, the chapters oh, are a little bit short. Mm. It, er, it's yeah. like, stop. <laughs> the problem I have is the the Arkham series is doing coke and going out in the town with Batman, and this is having reading a book with Batman. It's like a book club. <laughs> yeah. And you're just like, hey, dude, remember? <laughs> You used to do cocaine and beat the yeah. shit out of a bunch of F. This is a Pettis for a T and Pettis yeah. for And he's like, like, he's like, hey. oh, so uh, what'd you get with the symmetry? I'm like, I want to do cocaine with Batman. Like, that's. <laughs> there's uh, Batman on rails. Yeah, they're Batman on rails. Batman on rails. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Did they tell my parents died? Did I tell my parents died? Yeah. Arthur Batman's like, hey, I'm just gonna glide her cape and fuck some dudes up. Yeah. 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 Like, well, I'm investigating an old book flop cabinet. <laughs> my big cool yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I hate to do this to you, but it's last call, final round. Are you buying or selling the upcoming Batman VR for PlayStation VR flits? Uh, am I getting a free PlayStation VR? No. <laughs> That's the pass. I'm good. All right. <laughs> people, I, I don't know anything about it, but people who played it said it was amazing. Their booth at E3 was real sexy. I don't oh, know if yeah. you saw it. It was yeah. like a little house. <laughs> Literally, we it was watched so it. sexy. It was like we, a house for little people. It was, no, it had so like the buying red or selling Batman VR. I'm selling. Here's all the red flags. They show almost no gameplay. Mm -hmm. It's 1995. I think it's going to be the experience. It's going to feel like a Gen 1 VR experience. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't get to throw this one out, but you know what dream game I want to see for Batman where you play, where it's, it's, it's a Joker Harley game. Because I feel like everybody, that's what we wanted Suicide Squad to be. Do the Joker right, and whether you can pick between them. And have the villain or have the bad guy, have your nemesis be Batman. Which Harley, which Joker? It, it doesn't matter. Just give me, give me something, because all important... you play is Batman. And I want to have something where, like, Batman is the, the scary guy that you see, like, oh, fuck, Batman's here. Oh, yeah, he that can, would be cool. Oh, and that you would be got to I mean, what? They are, the Arkham games allowed you to be, like, Catwoman. I think Joker, too, right? Yeah, you, play through you, were, you played through as Joker. But I, I agree. Joker. I'm like, there's something about, like... The mechanic playing. was still Batman. The it's mechanic still, was still it just bad. It was almost like still skins with moves. But it would yeah. be like, picture almost like a Doom-esque game where you're going through and you're doing your thing as the Joker. And just then, people. And then you just see like, you see like bats coming. You're like, oh, fuck. It's like the calm before the storm. And then pff, he lands in front of you. That would be a cool Where game. Where does he the get VR. all those bats? Well, well so the, then you get those wonderful toys, you know? <laughs> How come no one asks that question? I, I do think, like, even they've used it a few times, but anytime Batman uses his sonar to call bats, I'm like, this is so fake. Stop doing it. Don't like, oh, the oh, bats are yeah. like, God damn it, Batman again, are you serious? <laughs> Everyone just all scratched in their forehead mice. and poops everywhere. They're like, oh. <laughs> It's awful, what Batman. Do they even I mean, do? even Batman would be like taken all caught off guard by the bats, right? I don't know. It's like a it's, flock of it's, animals it's, hitting you, like coming yeah. oh, like oh, full shit. force. Oh. So with even. Batman VR, I don't know. It, it feels a lot of this PSVR generation feels very on rails and a little gimmicky. It's all There's gimmicky. Still, Where HTC Vive, like, like you do shit you know? on Vive, and you're like, okay, this is some mm. tight stuff. And then all the PSVR stuff is very. It just seems like, wouldn't that be neat? Like, you're, you're Batman, well, you put, the, also you your put the cow on, I'm like, what else do I do? It's like... You can't move in you, the place. We point yeah. you in a direction and you look around and I heard you like, kind of zap yourself, like you teleport to Yeah, there's a, there, but there's, there are games like that, yeah. that that model is based off of. Is it Batman? No. They had, yeah. they had the structure and they wanted to put something out to grab people's attention, so they created Batman VR because people like pretending to be rich people. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Listen, people love no, Batman. They love Iron Man. I think that's why when you when you get more of that, I'm going back to it because I want them to make this game, and I think if I say it enough, someone might listen. If you do like a GTA experience, <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's not it. like Beetlejuice. You can't just say it three times Jesus. and it happens. It appears. Maybe it's maybe Beetlejuice. It's a Joker DLC where you get to play Joker and Harley Quinn. You know, it's maybe got, you can do a lot more. I feel like the mechanic. I has still to be based just want to fuck Joker. Batman, and I'll be happy if you can fuck Batman in a game. A in plus. Batman VR, you just keep Four like, stars, what are you doing? I just keep showering. All right, Claude, I know you want to sleep with Batman, but that's all the time we have for today. Let's recap what we've learned. Amra Flitz Ricketts wants to bring the whole Bat family on board for a multiplayer Batman stealth adventure game. We're not mad at that, but he also said the Batman Forever arcade game was awesome, so I'm not sure if we can trust his professional opinion. Sorry, you, you can trust him. Chloe Dexter says Batman games usually focus too much on combat and wants more of an RPG experience. But here's what I have to say to that. <laughs> oh, burn. <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo is tired of just beating up on basic henchmen and not feeling like the real Batman in the video games. Just further proof that he is Batman in real life and needs the real thing to satisfy his bloodlust. She wants to fuck Batman. <laughs> Mm. Oh. Mm. As for me, Nick Gregorio, my Batcave may not look like your Batcave, but my Batman definitely doesn't kill people. In fact, my version of Batman bears a striking resemblance to an Italian-American from Philadelphia who enjoys hosting space bar and painting action figures in his spare time. Can someone please just invite me to a damn gala, please? Everyone? Anyone? Well, I see the bat signal has been lit, and so have we. Bottoms up. Asses out. The space bar is closed. I like the asses out part. Remember when you got in trouble for painting a Batman figure at work? <laughs> I didn't get in trouble. It just was an issue. <laughs>
<laughs> you would always be painting it. <laughs>